Come on. Come on. That's a good one. That's a good fish. What is going on everyone? So before we really get into today's video, I just want to make a quick announcement that there are See You Dude shirts now for sale on seeyoudude.com. I have the blue snook design right here. I'll turn around. So we got the See You Dude snook right there. We also have the redfish and the stout trout. And we have three different colors in each. And like I said, I would greatly appreciate any support you guys could give to the channel, whether it's just views, likes, comments, and if you want to go purchase one of these shirts, I'd greatly appreciate that. All right, enough self-promotion. The goal for today is to try and get some greenbacks here on the grass flat and then see if we could go get some redfish, snook, and trout. Preferably snook, that's kind of why I'm wearing the shirt. So right now, I'm sitting in about three and a half, four feet of water on a grass flat on an incoming tide. It's gonna be incoming for really the rest of the evening. And right now, I'm gonna see if I can throw a little bit of dry chum in the water and get some white bait, maybe greenbacks or thread fins, so I can throw the cast on on those and then we could go after some big fish. But Right now I'm gonna show you how I go about trying to catch these baits. So I'm getting the GoPro set up right now to put on my head. And I just wanna show you what I have to deal with right now. This guy's not gonna leave me alone, I guarantee it. So I'm grabbing my 10 foot black pearl cast. I'll have like all the details down in the description if you wanna check it out. This is the last little bit of dry chum that I have. So all you do, you can pick this up online or at local bait stores it's literally just like live bait chum dry chum whatever you want to call it and all you do is it comes in this little powder form it's like exotic fish food or something and you mix a little bit of water in it to get the consistency of like play-doh and then once it hits the water it kind of disperses and then it brings the bait fish in so i'm just going to splash a little bit of water in there mix that together there we go it's not a lot of chum but it's what i had left then all you do you have your cast net out just start throwing it in the water. See if you can attract some, some bait fish to you. Usually I like to throw chum for about five minutes. Maybe like one little ball. As you can see, just like a small, small ball like that. Just one ball every like, I don't know, like 20 seconds or something. And just do that for about five minutes. And eventually it should bring some sort of bait fish to you, whether it's pinfish, greenbacks, or thread fins. I think I'm starting to see some greenbacks flashing in the in the chum when I throw it. There we go. Let that start sinking down. See what we get. See some flashing. Oh yeah, we got some thread fins at least. Oh no, those are greenies. Oh yeah, we got some greenies in there. At least a dozen. Oh yeah, that's what we were looking for. So these are pilchards. Uh, we call them greenbacks over here. Great baits. These are all greenbacks, actually. I mean, a couple pins, but got this. Scoop these up. Throw them in there. Awesome baits. Exactly what I was looking for. Got some baits. Can't really live chum with that much, but see if we can go catch something. The setup I'm going to be using today is my Pen Battle 3 2500 with 10 pound braid on my St. Croix Avid Inshore 7 foot light action rod. And for a leader, I got about a three and a half foot section of 25 pound fluorocarbon leader with a size one circle look right here. I'm using a pretty small circle look just to kind of match the size of the bait that I use. You don't want a hook that's too big that's gonna weigh your bait down and make it look not as natural. Let's see what we can get. I'm gonna go with a belly hook on this guy. There we go. Come on. 
I'm on. There's a fish. Feels like a red. Let's go right to the boat. Where are you? I'm trying to run now. Oh, a decent red. Awesome. Come on over here, bud. Greenback right over there. There's a small little oyster bar that I know it's over there, so I casted this greenback over there and he piped it. Come on. Yeah, probably like a 19, 20 inch redfish right here. Not bad for the first fish. Really looking to get some snook, but I'll take this. Yeah, it's all a little redfish. I'm going probably 19 inches on him. Uh, right at 19. That is a pretty fish right there. He's like golden in the sunset. Let's get the release on him. See you, dude. I already see some uh, some bait flashing in the jump. It's only been like a minute. Got a lot of flashes. Looks like a lot of pins though. All right, so I just got done throwing. It was about 45 minutes to an hour of throwing, and I got a lot of greenbacks. Took a lot to a lot of chumming and a lot of searching to really find them, but I found a good school of them and loaded up the back live well. I'll show you that right quick. And I'm gonna clean up the boat and head out to the first spot. All right, so I'm gonna take some some baits right here and throw them out as live chum, see if I can really get any snook or redfish kind of fired up at this spot over here. Oh, little snook after him. Little tiny snook just went after that bait. Got him. Got that little guy. That was cool to watch him eat it. He's tiny, but hey, live chum is working. There's another snook over there that just blew up on one. Little guy to start the day. You are a baby. Always barely hooked too. Just pop that hook out of you. Get the quick release on you. See, dude. Didn't frame me up too much. Let's get another bait. I'm going with the the belly hook. A little bit back by the tail, actually. That's how I got that last one. So I'll try it again. That was cool to watch. He was tiny, but it was cool to watch him just come up and eat it. Immediately. No. Okay, so there's some bigger fish out there in the deeper water. Couldn't even close my bail. Oh, oh. Look at the size of those swirls out there. There's some big fish that are fired up on the live jump. Oh, I'm on. That's a good one. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Put in the rod holder for a split second to try and get some more live chum out. And a good fish ate it. Going right the boat. I don't know what this is. I'm guessing snook. Oh, it's a jack. Good old Jack. Come on over here. Might have been what was blowing up before. Hope not. I hope it was snook. A little bycatch. Going for a snook. Got a little Jack. See you, dude.
There we go. Oh! Right there, come on. That was wild. Snook ate it immediately and then like got wrapped up in the line and jumped. He like never was hooked. He like lassoed himself. Snook just ate him. Got him. No! That was distinctive like a snook. Like I just cast out there and felt the boom. He did frame me up. I'm gonna retie right quick. All I'm tying on here is a quick little loop knot. So you just go overhand. You do a little overhand knot on the line to start. Put the tag in through there. Put the tag in back through the little loop. And another overhand knot. So it kind of two knots kind of close on each other. And it makes that little loop right there on the hook. GoPro's dying, but I just hooked a good one. So the GoPro on my head died right, like, I'm not joking, five seconds before this fish ate. And this is not a bad snook. Not a bad one at all. Let me grab them for you guys right quick. I'm sorry about that. Not a bad little snook right there. Probably 25, 26 inches. As soon as I casted out that bait, my GoPro just decided to die. And as soon as that happened, I just felt the bait get really nervous and then just get popped. And that's not a bad one right there. I'm gonna change the battery on the GoPro and see if we can get a couple more. Not a bad fish right there. Clamping down to my thumb. See you, dude. Here we go. There we go. There's a fish. Doesn't feel bad. It's not a monster, but it's a snook. How big are you? Well, that's a big trout. I thought you were a snook. No, that's a big trout right there. Okay. Come on up here, dude. He ate it just like a snook with a big pop. He's got some shoulders on him. What, my hand first? Oh yeah, that's a solid trout right there. Around the corner of the mouth with a circle look. Let's get a measurement on him. We're going 19, uh, 19 and a half. That is a solid trout. See you, dude. Good. How are you doing? What's your name? Brent. I've seen you on YouTube. Really? So yeah, I've been watching your videos for quite a while now. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Have a good one. Good luck. Just missed one right there. Dang it. Never felt the meat just start going with it and I couldn't close my bail in time. Well, that was cool meeting that guy. That's a big swirl. That's a good fish. I oh, still got him. Okay, never mind. Sorry, he came off. Oh, he's not even that big. Oh, it's another trout. Here's another good trout. I saw the swirl. I don't know if there was multiple fish chasing it, but uh, it's not that big. Probably like uh, 17. I saw the swirl and I thought you were going to be huge. I mean, not a bad trout, actually. There we go. I'm not sticking my fingers down that throat. Let me get the pliers. There we go. Hooks out. Healthy fish right there, probably 17, 18 inches. Get the quick release on them. See you, dude. 